In today's video, we're going to be talking about cash covered puts and how I'm using this strategy to help me generate income every single week. Uh, roughly with my strategy now, I'm generating around $100 a week. And when I first heard of options trading, I was very skeptical of how will this work? Am I going to be gambling all of my money? Am I going to be losing everything? No, you're not. This is probably the safest way of using the options trading. We're going to be selling puts here um, in this video today. So for anybody that's brand new to the channel, my name is Bruce Wang. I'm typically a dividend investor. Um, let's take a look at my dividend portfolio right now. My dividend portfolio is sitting at $85,351 and my dividend income for the year is roughly $2,869. And if we divide that up into 12, that's roughly over $200 every single month. And for me to get my portfolio to this level took me two years of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. So that's why I decided to try some options trading strategies because I heard that this was also another great way to generate income. And also on top of that, you can also buy stocks at a discount. And I'm going to be going over all of that in today's video. So what is a cash covered Put. A cash covered put is selling the obligation to buy shares at a certain strike price on expiration date. And um, I'm going to be diving a little bit deeper into the Robinhood portfolio so I can show you a great example of this. So on my Robinhood portfolio sitting at just under $40,000, today was a pretty good day if I do say so myself. Uh, if you look here, you can see some of my options trades. Uh, I have some covered calls, which is the first half of this trading strategy. And I've already made videos on that. Links are going to be in the description. Uh, if you guys want anything from this video, free stocks. If you want to see my entire portfolio, links are going to be in the description. So don't miss that out. And right here, you can see my cash covered put for Gap. Uh, Gap ticker symbol is GPS. So let's dive even deeper now into the uh, options trading strategy of cash covered puts. Uh, right now, Gap is sitting at $12.86. And um, let's say if we wanted to buy um, 100 shares of Gap right now, that would cost $1,286. And a lot of people like to, you know, they like to buy gap at a certain price, right? Limit price, let's say it's $12 and 100 shares. That would cost $1,200. But we don't know when the next time that gap will sit or start to drop down to that price level. So that's why cash covered puts is a really great strategy to, uh, to use. We could be patient and also collect a premium for a wanting to buy gap at a $12 strike price. So here's where all the magic happens when it comes to the options trading on Robinhood. Make sure it's sell and make sure it's put, all right? We're selling puts. We never wanna buy puts and we never want to buy calls unless you're crazy. Selling puts is a less risky way of investing, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of advantages to, there's a lot of advantages to it and I'll be going over all of them right now. Expiration date is going to be July 31st, which is the end of this week. And uh, we can see here share price is sitting at $12.86. And this option contract right now, let's say we let's say if we want to buy this one, I already have one at $12. So let's say we continue here and we put one. So let's say we want to buy one contract here. One contract is 100 shares of gap and uh, limit price is $12 expiration is going to be July 31st. And the premium that we'll be receiving if we buy this cash covered call is $12. So one other reason why this is called a cash covered put is because you're going to need to have the money on hand to be able to uh, buy these contracts. And I don't recommend doing naked calls, which is you, you're borrowing money from Robinhood to do this. You're borrowing, uh, you're doing margin trading. Um, if you're going to do margin trading, you're going to have to, you know, pay back interest rate on all the money you borrow. And another big negative is that you'll have to sell your stocks if you can't pay back the um, stocks when you're assigned them. All right. So make sure you have cash on hand. Make sure you're very serious about buying these um, stocks that you're using with that you're using uh, these options trading with. So the main objective for me when I'm doing cash covered puts is I want the premiums or I want to be able to buy the stocks that I want at a discount. All right. These are the two main objectives. So in the situation here, I sold one uh, gap contract, uh, covered put expiration date, July 31st. I do weekly, I like to do weekly contracts, all right? I tried the month's contract 
you get a bigger premium for doing a month's contract because you're putting up a lot more money for a longer period of time. And uh, that is all great and all, but for me, that is too risky. Um, there's been a few times that I've lost money doing uh, monthly contracts, so I cut that back to weekly contracts, and um, the premiums are a lot lower, but still, um, the risk is easier for me to manage, so that's why I'm going with weekly contracts. Going back to this, uh, going back to the hypothetical situation, the strike price is at twelve dollars. My premium is going to be twenty-seven dollars, and I'll uh, I'll show you that right here. So this is my actual contract for the cash covered put here. Um, the premium that I'm receiving right for this, I bought this last Friday. Uh, I'm receiving twenty-seven dollars for only putting up uh, one thousand two hundred dollars. Gap is a company that I'm looking to hold for a long term, at least two years, because I think uh, the price of Gap will be a lot higher uh, by then with uh, Kanye West and all that, um, designing all the clothes for the future for the next 10 years. But that's another story here. So let's go back into the situation here. So on July 31st, if Gap is in scenario one above $12, you're gonna keep the premium and you're not gonna be assigned to buy the stocks. Um, this is probably one of the best situations for most people because we all just want the premium. We, you know, we put up a little bit of money, collect the premium, and then we just run it back. We do it again and again and again. Uh, so in scenario number two, um, on July 31st, gap is at $12. You still get to keep the premium, but you might be assigned to buy uh, 100 shares of gap. If this happens to you, you own 100 shares of gap and you bought them at a discount of $12 because right now in today's market, Gap is you know usually sitting around $12.89 today. In scenario number three, Gap is below $12, so I get to keep the premium and I'm assigned to buy 100 shares of Gap. And since I'm already holding Gap in my portfolio, this will lower my cost basis. Um, let me show you guys here. So when it comes to this contract, um, I'm Pretty sure Gap is not going to be under twelve dollars by the end of this uh, end of this week. But uh, let's take a look at my break even. It's going to be eleven dollars and seventy three cents. So I have, you know, this buffer of twenty seven dollars for me to still break even. And if it goes below that, then you know that's how the game goes sometimes. It's not a free. It's not free money here. You know, you're still risking something. So now, hopefully, you guys understand a little bit more about this. So I now want to show you some more popular stocks where the premiums are a lot higher, and um, it's a, it might be a lot easier for you to understand. So I want to take a look at Apple. So when it comes to Apple, uh, you can see the price sit today is sitting at three hundred eighty dollars. I own a decent amount. Not I wish I owned more, but I own two point six, two point seven shares. And uh, we're going to go into the option contracts here. Sell, put. The end of the week is the operate. Uh, at the end of the week is still the expiration date. And um, let's take a look here. If we do one strike price down, the three hundred eighty dollars strike price, we can see a nine hundred thirty eight dollar premium. A lot of people can live off of $938 for one week. Think about that. So my objective here right now, when it comes to my entire portfolio, is I want to do this strategy, this cash covered put strategy with Apple. All right, I wanna do it with Apple and a bunch of other different type of stocks. It's gonna take me a while to get there, but once I do get there, you know, I'm gonna see $1,000 coming in every single week other, rather than $100 every single week. So right now I'm getting my reps in. I'm training with smaller stocks, with stocks that I think that are less risky. And uh, once I get to a good enough experience where I wanna try with a bigger stock, that's when I'll start to invest a little bit more money and go a little bit heavier. And when it comes to Apple, we know that tech is right now in a bull market. It might be a little bit overvalued, but still it is one of the more stable stocks out there in the market. There's a lot of different, there's a lot of other stocks that you can do this with as well, but let's take a look, let's go further down. All right, let's say 100% sure that Apple will hit the strike price. So it's not even worth it for you, all right? So you wanna go even further down. The further down you go when it comes to the strike price, um, obviously the premiums get a lot lower. So let's say we go to 330, the strike price is $22. For me, that's not really worth it because you're putting up how much money? $33,000 for $22. Definitely not worth it. 
So for me, I would I would like to see you know a few hundred dollars to at least a hundred dollars. So three hundred fifty dollars at the end of the week. Can Apple get down that low? Most likely not. If it does, you bought Apple at three hundred fifty dollars rather than buying Apple at three hundred eighty dollars. Do you gotta see where I'm going here? And on top of that, you get to keep the premium of ninety six dollars. A lot of people do this strategy with Apple, but let's take a look at more a more risky company, all right? So in this situation, this is Lemonade. Uh, this is a company that I've been buying into for the last two weeks. So uh, I'll probably make a video next week on this, but let's do another sell put. Uh, August 21st is the expiration date. So, so when it comes to this stock, the options are only every single month, all right? The ones that we've seen previously is every single week. But for Lemonade, L-M-N-D is every single month. So let's say August 21st. Let's look at the one strike price down. $740 for this one contract by the end of uh, uh, August 3rd, 21st. So in this situation, Lemonade is a higher risk um, stock. But with higher risk comes a higher reward. And um, for me, I personally would not do this. Um, like I said earlier, one month out is really too far for me. I'd rather do maybe two weeks at the most. But moving further down, let's say a $50 strike price, would you invest $5,000 for $90 when it comes to this stock? So if the price does come down that low, would you invest? Like go take a look at your entire portfolio and do this for your entire portfolio. Just take a look just to have some fun with it because I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some stocks that have really decent premiums and uh, you might even want to try it out for yourself. So stay tuned for the wheel strategy video which I'll be coming out probably next week. This is gonna encompass everything for, the, uh, for this entire series. And if you guys want more videos from me, go check out these videos here. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on my second channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.